<laughs> I killed a goat myself by myself with a chopper. How many of you have done that before? Not many. I mean those city life people. I don't think any one of them have done that before because they will say they're so cool. Even in Singapore, those men who enlisted into the army, national service, didn't even have a chance to kill any animal. For example, chicken. But for me, I kill chickens, I kill rabbits, I even dove, you know, the so some people call that is a holy bird. Like strangling their neck until they die. And I'm gonna kill more animals. I'm gonna buy pigs, cows to kill, dogs and snakes even. <laughs> Etc. Etc. So I'm considered as a cool person to do that. If my purpose is to eat them, although the way I kill that goat is so disgusting, man, 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 so many times until he die. That was my first time having the kind of big courage to kill that goat, a uh, quite a big animal. But since I'm killing the animal to eat, there's nothing wrong. And I don't understand why some people say it's so cruel of anyone to kill animals like this. Don't they eat meat too? Or dead meat? Well, technically, they pay someone to kill animals for themselves to eat the animals. So who is cruel? The one who kill for themselves like me to eat? Or the ones who pay someone to kill and buy the dead animal at the grocery stores? And the most ridiculous thing is that those people who eat those meat who always throw away after they finish their meal. What's a waste of food, right? There's no appreciation for the animals that sacrifice their body for them to eat. At least now after I kill the animals, I appreciate the animals more. It's like the old days where we see our grandmothers kill a chicken to eat in the 1970s. For us to eat or for the children to eat, someone has to do the dirty job so that we can be happy. So killing an animal, even dogs, is nothing wrong at all if we choose to eat them. I'm not killing for fun. I even seen dog lovers eating dog meat too. What's wrong with eating dogs? It's still animal, right? There's a difference between someone who's so comfortable with their city life and someone who experienced the real world outside. Many Singaporeans living in the city are so comfortable with their lives and they take things for granted. But when they see someone killing fish, yeah. Yeah, until the blood come out, they'll say, "Eee, eee, so cool!" And shouldn't be shown on the video. Hey, we still eat them, right? Many people are just taking animals they have been eating for granted. As a matter of fact, I like living in Singapore. We just need to have money to pay, and we can have anything we like because there'll be somebody doing the details for us. So what is that complaining about the cost of living in Singapore? But apparently there are so many unhappy Singaporeans and I don't know what they are complaining about. High cost of living, cost of housing, cost of food, transportation, whatever. They need to move elsewhere like in the village and do everything by themselves. Kill the animals and eat so that they have saved the cost of paying someone to kill for them. Those Singaporeans who complain about the cost of living many times here really have some brain damage. There's no need to complaining about the high cost of living since you are paying someone to do it for us. So after experiencing myself living in a village and killing the animals and cutting them myself, I found that living in Singapore is so fortunate because everything is already prepared for us accordingly and neatly. Just pay and eat. The housing the government provides for the residents is so adequate. The public transportation is enough for us to travel anywhere in Singapore. And Singaporeans can easily go to any grocery store near their homes to buy animals to eat. The government in Singapore is literally helping Singaporeans to easily live and enjoy their lives. So this is why I chose to travel around instead of staying in Singapore because the more I stay, the more I don't appreciate Singapore. So what the heck you fast about when I kill a goat? As long as we kill animals to eat or to protect ourselves, it has nothing to do with evil or cruelty. We all should learn how to kill animals if we want to continue to eat meat. Judge ourselves first before we judge someone, right? See ya.